Tulsa. Hit Whole Foods. Hit Walmart. Oh, the experiment. Haven't told you. It went well, except that the foam was not stiff enough, so it didn't hold up the way it needed to. But we learned quite a bit doing this. It would work. He went out. The Ozark Electric dudes were here. I went out to see what was going on. Just hang around for a little while. We were talking. And that's what I got. Those are chicker bites. Chicker bites. So miserable when it comes to it, it itches like crazy. We happen to have this on the truck. It's a white iodine solution. I'd say this is like right up there, uh, With poison if ice. not worse than fire ant. Does it make you want to cry? <laughs> no, it makes you want to rip your skin off. <laughs> Fat cows in a new field. They're chomping away. Look at the little baby cows. <laughs> big fat baby cows. Bunches and bunches of big fat baby cows. <laughs> We have stopped at a place that has shipping containers. This is a brand new shipping container. It's 40 feet. You can have this place cut windows into it and you have a house that locks up or storage that locks up, that's an option. This is how these can be set up for an office. This is like an office. Insulation. So, I mean, the door is 850. Window with shutters is going to be 850. Uh, so, you know, just per. I mean, the door, that way you can open it. Yeah. You can swing your... So, picture this with a window on each side. That's for air conditioning unit. Okay. Right. This would be our doors. Yeah. We would do like you were saying frame this that the service mounted and then finish out the inside ourselves yeah easy right yeah this size okay. this size for a cabin i see and then we still need so we're gonna need a 40 footer for i don't think we need a 40 footer think about it air compressor um cement mixer foam generator cement bags of cement a lot of them base salt, rebar, um, mesh, all that. That's that's gonna that's a lot of space. You can't get that in eight feet. You know, all that. So I mean probably by the time it's all said and done and priced out, you're probably close to ten thousand right here. Yeah. With us with no with, no, with this, yeah, no, with it finished. As it looks. Yeah. Okay, but so, but finished interior. Air 
Look at the thinking. And then, so then this this would have to be like enough room for an AC unit. Yeah. Give you pick up a couple of feet. There's plenty. I mean, it's it's compact, but pontoons on it. Take it down. The right <laughs> <front>. Houseboat. <laughs> no, wait. He said it wasn't it, it waterproof. Would, it would be it would be good with pontoons. Right? <laughs> if you just tried to float it by itself, it's gonna sink. <laughs> Right. A big hole or take up a window. Yeah. I mean, theoretically, you get it out. Yeah, that's true. You transport it out. Right, right. So. Hmm. Wow. Just send in a message, call me. Okay. So, because right. I know one's driving, one's sleeping. Yeah. So. That's pretty much how it works. Yeah. <laughs> I did it by myself for a long time. Yeah. yeah. A long time. Two years, I guess. It just seemed like a long time. Yeah. Black and Chrome Peter built. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, so I was living the dream, bud. Yeah. Yeah. My you know, wife just loves fishing. Yeah. So That's we're gonna so cool. go down there. We're not gonna ten killers real clear like that. So we've stopped there and we've got it. Uh, I found out she's a truck driver as well. Yeah. Really? And uh, anyway, driving truck all day, going to school and getting home at eleven, doing homework, going to bed at twelve thirty, one o'clock, getting home. This is to Angie. You go, girl. <laughs> wow. So I've been Mr. Mister Mom for a year and a half now. <laughs> we have four kids. Oh, two, wow. Two of hers, two of mine. Oh, my goodness. So, right. You make you look like a good Mr. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eight years old now, so like the floor is kind of, you know, it gets a lot of traffic. But this is a high cube container. It's a drop ceiling. Okay. Yeah, so all electricals ran overhead. Uh, it was metal studded on the walls. Studs are turned sideways. That's real wood floors. Nice. And then that's the wall and door that I was talking about back there. Okay. I like this. Great idea. I know. I love so the floor. So once you open them double doors up, you just step out on the patio. Oh, that is so sweet. All the work hired out and done. Yeah. Uh, he did, I don't think he did anything himself. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Right it's, into the wall. So this shows you, you know, what's possible. Yeah. But the one thing, no matter what you what you do, if you're gonna live in it, uh, seal that for you. Yeah. yeah. For sure. I've picked up containers that have been sitting for seven years. I've had a termite wall that went up the or a colony that went up the wall and spread out, didn't touch any of the wood. So whatever it is is good. It's illegal in America, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for letting us see that. Absolutely. Yeah, really. This is I really like cool. it. Wow. So,